Hi Cancer, so this reading is going to be a little different. This reading is going to be your sign versus all the signs. So um, whatever sign that you're dealing with, the timestamp will be in the description box below for the time that that sign comes on. Thank you guys for tuning into my channel. Please keep in mind that these readings are general and may or may not resonate. Take what does and leave the rest. Also, be sure to check your sun, moon, rising, and Venus sign for more insight. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Okay, so if you're a Cancer dealing with an Aries, we're going to start you off at 40 seconds. Aries. Strength in reverse and a nine of... So someone's mad as fuck and stressed out. Because they feel like they're putting in all this work. And maybe the situation is just not as fruitful as it's supposed to be. I see someone alone in this situation or feeling alone in this situation. Okay, if you are a cancer dealing with the Taurus. 107. Cancer dealing with the Taurus. I see him, him or her watching you. Or they might be coming in to give some fast communication on love or how to offer you love or what love they're going to offer you. But with this Ten of Pentacles to the, the Fool, they're ready to start something stable with you. They see a real relationship with you. Something solid. Okay. If you are a Cancer dealing with a Gemini, 140. We're going to start you off at 140. So you're waiting to give this person an offer to a sword, but you're not sure of either when or what exactly you want to offer this person. Okay. If you are a cancer dealing with a cancer to 10, I feel like Someone is uh, blocking someone and remaining single because the high priest has told you so. It's like, now you're going within your intuition and your intuition is telling you that you need to take control of this situation. And I guess to take control over it means that you have to let this person go. I don't know what the situation is. Okay. So, a uh, cancer dealing with a Leo. It's toxic. To 40, I'm going to start that off at. Cancer is dealing with the Leo. I feel like you find this person highly attractive or this person finds you highly attractive and they're holding on to you. But they're confused about you or you're confused about them and that's creating stress in this relationship. Okay. If you are a Cancer dealing with a Virgo, we're going to start that off at 3.05. Cancer dealing with a Virgo. Somebody is lying. Who is it? Yeah, somebody is lying. And could be you, Virgo. Could be the other person. Someone has a third party situation going on here. And I don't know who is doing what, but um, either this is a brand new beginning for you with this love with this third party or a brand new beginning for them with this love with this third party. But either way, somebody ain't tell the other person that. Um Libra here. Hmm. We're gonna start Libra off at 349. Libra, if you are dealing with a Libra, this person is guarded, but they have love towards you. They're just hiding it. Because they've been through a lot. Yeah, but they see you as you actually make them happy. They see you as a soulmate. So this person has just been through a lot. So they like, I don't know if I'm gonna open up. You're gonna have to open that up. I don't know if you got time. Okay, if you are a Cancer dealing with a Scorpio, 415. Cancer dealing with a Scorpio, 415. Okay. So I feel like you guys are trying to definitely balance out the situation. After being left out in the cold, you might not have been talking to this person, but now you guys are definitely trying to work it out. Okay, good luck with that. If you are dealing with the Sagittarius, your reading will come up at 445 for them. Sagittarius. Hmm. So, there's a situation here where 
someone might have been breadcrumbing someone, gaslighting someone, telling them they, they were going to give them more than they actually did, or they didn't give them what they told them they were going to give them. Either way, this then left somebody stuck and still not speaking to the other person. So take that how it resonates. If you are a cancer dealing with a Capricorn, that is that's good. That's kind of like soulmate energy, but you know. To 525. Oh, look at that soulmate energy. Oh, oh, that's what I'm talking about. It's always good with the Cancer and the Capricorn. So I see you guys moving. Um, okay, two stories here. So if you guys are already in a relationship, I'm saying that this can be like really good. And if you guys are not in a relationship, then you might as well go ahead and get in. Anyways somebody here is like really stable and this is you cancer so you might be really stable i feel like you both are very stable and this relationship just makes the both of y'all happy i'm not gonna uh complicate it y'all good um a uh, cancer dealing with an aquarius i'm gonna start that off at 6 15 cancer with an aquarius so with the chariot being cancer and the lovers being a decision, I feel like someone needs to make a decision. They're at a crossroads. They don't know what they want to do with this relationship. Uh, could be the cancer. If it's not the can, I really feel like it's the cancer. But if it's not the cancer, then uh, it could be the other person. But that's a slight slim chance. Okay, so if you are a cancer dealing with a Pisces, we're going to start that off at 645. Okay, so the, the, the Pisces or you is rejecting any offers. There's too much fighting going on. They just want it to be over, but they still... Was this a family? Are you guys breaking up as a family for over too much fighting? I'm sorry to hear that, you guys. All right, thank you.